Okay, well, uh, yesterday or day before yesterday, we have discussed with my topic that name is spanning tree protocol. So in my last video, you have seen about spanning tree protocol. And this was the theoretical topic. Spanning tree protocol is basically used to avoid the loop between the redundant links of switch. Like if we have multiple switch or two switch and multiple links are connected between two switches, then what STP will do? STP will make root bridge and non root bridge. And after that, on root bridge, all the ports are green. But on non root bridge, one is the root port and another ports are blocked. Because blocked port can receive the information but not send. So this thing you have already seen in your Cisco packet tracer. But today we have to discuss one of the beautiful topic which name is port channel. And in Cisco, we are calling this topic as a ether channel. <clears throat> so today we have to discuss about what is port channel or ether channel. So what is port channel or ether channel? First write it down, like what is port channel? So to create a, you can see, to create a ether channel and port channel, both are same. Okay, both are same. Like in Cisco term, it is called ether channel, but practically like if you are not making it on Cisco switches, then it is known as port channel, okay? So to create a logical bundle of physical redundant link, to create a logical bundle of physical redundant links between switches. Now, what is the meaning of this line? Port channel is the channel which is used to create a logical bundle of physical redundant link between switches. Now, what is the meaning? You can check. For example, this is my switch number A. This is my switch number B. Okay. Switch, switch one, switch two is a good name. <clears throat> so, Switch one is connected with F0 by one, F0 by two, F0 by three, F0 by four, F0 by five. There are multiple links in this. So I want to show on a switch that these are not four links. This is a bundle of links. Like this is a bundle of one bunch, you can say. Okay. So I have to told to switch, you can say, like these are not four links. These are only aggregated into one link. So that process is known as port channel. Okay. Like to create a logical bundle of physical redundant link between switch is known as ether channel. Like if you check your syllabus of 200.301, so they, they will give you topic of LACP. But we have to discuss both the ether channel type because port channel is of two types. One is PAGP, port aggregation protocol. And second it's is, type of yes, ether channel type, LSCP, link control, link aggregation control protocol. This is the type of ether channel. Now, both the work are same. Both the ether channel, PAGP and LACP, working process is same for both the ether channel. But PAGP is a Cisco proprietary. Cisco proprietary. Please check the spelling of proprietary. Like proprietorship, you can say it is belong to Cisco but LACP belongs to IEEE. You can say open protocol, open. Like LACP can be used on every switch. Every like Cisco switch, HP switch, Juniper switch, any switch. But PAGP is used only on Cisco switches. So both the work of both the port channel and ether channel is same. 
okay so like the work of both the ether channel is to create a logical bundle between physical redundant link so we have to create the design for them okay so let me start my let me start sharing my cisco packet tracer screen with you okay so you can check here like i have used this one i have two switches okay so if automatically i am going to use like this 1 2 3 4 five anything i will show the port number for you <clears throat> okay wait for some time fast forward you can check now that on this switch we have all the ports green on this port i have only one link is green automatically so this is the function of stp because stp elect the root bridge root bridge is which has a lowest bridge id so automatically it choose the root bridge this and these three ports are blocked so now if you check the command show spanning tree here enable show spanning tree now you can check it is showing that four ports of switches are there and three ports are blocked uh, like to avoid the loop and one port is working as a root port so now my company says that you have to use these all the ports together so that's why i have to use the concept of ether channel to okay port channel you can say port channel so i told you that port channel is of two types like pagp and lacp so i'm going to put the theory on notepad if you want to apply pagp then pg pagp has two modes one is auto mode one is a desirable mode first we have to do with the theoretical part and same same in lacp we have two modes passive mode and active mode the work of pagp and lacp is same only the difference between modes so auto mode applies when when a pagp device is detected like it will send the information when a pagp device is detected but desirable mode unconditional work unconditional pagp work like for example there are the two people two people is there one is me one is other if i have a desirable mode then unconditionally i am talking to you but if auto mode is with you for example you are using auto mode so auto mode will reply to me only if if i am sending information to you okay like some sometime two friends are fighting with each other and one friend is uh, like wants to talk with another friend so if they have desirable mode so unconditionally he can talk but the other auto mode only talk when you reply to him you ask from him so auto mode and desirable mode are the part of pagp okay these are the mode of two sides of switch you can say <clears throat> if we have two switch for example this if you are using both side auto mode for example you are using auto mode here and auto mode here so you are not able to connect with them you are not able to make communication why because auto mode applies when when another pagp device answer query from him if one side you are using desirable and another siding you are using auto then they can ping if both side you are using desirable then they both can make it the channel okay similarly in lacp when a lacp device is detected like it works same as pagp auto mode when a lacp device is detected active mode says unconditional work and unconditional there is no condition in this it can work like desirable so you can make ether channel two type like so what i will do 
I will make two design for you. Wait. Always show port label. So here I'm going to use PAGP and here I'm going to use LACP. I'm making one more design here. F0 by one, F0 by two, F0 by three, and F0 by four. Okay, so on this design, we will work on uh, like LACP. Yeah. Okay, so if you want to make LACP, then your one, one side mode is active and another side you can make it passive. So if you are using desirable and desirable, that is PAGP working. Desirable and auto, then PAGP working. Auto and auto cannot work. Same as active and active can work. Active and active can work. Okay, active and passive can work, but passive and passive cannot work. Okay, so this is the topic of Ether channel. Now let's move on to the practical part. Active so, and passive can work. Yes, active passive can work, but both side passive cannot work. Active, both side active can work. Yes, they can work. Okay, so let me start with the practical. So first of all, if you want to ether channel or port channel, I'm making uh, like on practical on first switch. <clears throat> Interface range FA zero by one, two, four. Okay, now first check this after that note, all the things. Interface range F zero by one, two, four. All the switches are, uh, all the ports are connected with switch. So the range is switch port mode. Trunk. If switch is connected to switch, then switch for more trunk. Like now you want to make logical bundle of these four links. Okay. So you have to put the command channel group. You can put six number, six group. Channel group one mode question mark. So you can give active mode if you want to enable LACP unconditionally. If you want to give auto mode, then enable PAGP only if a PAGP device is detected. Desirable, passive mode. And if you are not going to use active passive or desirable and auto, then only single on mode you can use. On mode means there will no protocol, but simply it will create each channel. Okay, so in this side, I'm using channel group one mode desirable. Okay, I will show you all the command. Now channel group one. So I have changed channel group one. So I'm using command interface port channel, switch port mode trunk. Now by default VLAN one is there. So I have to put command switch port trunk allowed VLAN one. Do show history. I have used this command. Copy. Switch number one. Okay, so on switch number two, all the commands will remain same. Only uh, if you want to change mode, then you can change mode desirable into auto. Like desirable and desirable can work, but I want to check that desirable and auto can work or not. So you can do this interface range FA zero by one to four switch port mode trunk channel group one mode auto okay and now interface port channel one switch port mode trunk switch port trunk allowed vlan one i have done this little bit fast because every command was same only difference was instead of desirable i have used auto so now you can check after completing desirable and auto there my links will be green i will off the port label name <clears throat> you can check all the links are green but loop can be occur so you have to be sure in show spanning tree that all four links are showing or only one link is showing so when you click on show spanning tree, instead of four links, 
Now four links are combined into one bundle, and that bundle name is code channel one. So when you put the command show ether channel, so it will show you that uh, you are using group number one. Your group state is L two. You have used port four ports F zero by one to four, but maximum you can use eight ports. Okay, and your protocol is PAGP. Why PAGP? Because you have used auto and desirable. Now you want to do the practical of LACP. So all other things are remain same. Only we have to change the modes. Interface range F A zero by one to four. Switch code mode drunk. Channel group. Channel group. Channel G R O U P group one mode. So which mode do you want to use now? Active. Okay, I have used active mode. The rest all the commands remain same. Interface port channel, and uh, you can use. And after that, uh, switch port mode trunk. Switch port trunk allowed VLAN one. So if you check do show do show history, you can check I have changed only mode. So in LACP on switch number one, I have used this. On switch number two, I can use active again, but I want to use passive. So I have changed on Notepad. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste on this. Done. You don't have to use the shortcuts if you are not sure. Okay. Now, again, these ports are green, but when you check show spanning tree, now four links are divided, uh, combined into one channel. And in show ether channel, the difference is only now the protocol is LACP. So I told you before that the work of both the protocols same, only the changes in in your modes. Desirable and auto is for PAGP, active and passive is for LACP. But there is one more difference. In LACP, you can use maximum ports 16 and maximum port channel also. And in PAGP, you can see the maximum port only eight. So in ether channel, if you are using fast ethernet port, then in fast ethernet, you can up to eight link, you can make ether channel. In LACP, it is showing that 16 link can be together. So LACP is like using nowadays. So in your book 200301, you can check the topic name should be ether channel and LACP will be there. So this topic is used to create a logical bundle of physical redundant link so that the all ports can be combined into one topic. So this is all about your ether channel and this is your CCNA switching part is end. Rest some theory topics will be there. Then you have to read that theory that we will discuss in another class. Thank you.